Apparently, I should be trying to physically push the disc in more often, Trev. Anyways. Okay, anyways, gotta just wait for the stream to come back onto my- there we go. Okay, anyways, gotta just wait for the stream to come back. Alright, audio's working too, so I'm gonna mute it real quick so it's not, like, in the background randomly. So, hello everyone, Zach Murray, K Blue Spider 107 here. We are back in Assassin's Creed. I know it's been a few days, like I said I was gonna do it Thursday, but then I didn't have time because we had someone coming over and we also had to clean up the house beforehand. And then, uh, we, I mean, the, a few days after that, um, was spent with the Xbox being downstairs, of course, and it was taken over by Trevor, and he was just watching she with Mom the whole time, because that's what he wanted to do, so now I'm just trying to get back into streaming for the next couple of days, um, I might also stream on Friday instead of Saturday, but that's supposed to be when I'm supposed to stream next, but... I might do Friday instead, so that way I know for a fact that I get a stream in there. But I'm going to try to stream for the next few days and try to get as much done as possible. We're going to go ahead and start with Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, it's just taking a sweet ass time showing off the intro again. I also gotta stream some other stuff at some point to get more um, footage for side playthroughs. Greedfall is almost done being edited. I'm almost done with the second to last stream, and then I've got the first one. Alright, yep. Story mode. Uh, I could change the name. It automatically starts off as Desmond. I think I'm gonna go and just keep it that, because I just want to get straight into this. My name is Desmond Miles. I'm a prisoner of war. Did I just skip? Shit, I just skipped! Because my fucking controller fell down. I set it aside for a moment to set my laptop down. We have to go. Lucy, where have you been? Why did they- Now! Get in. What's with the blood? Are you okay? Look, we have maybe ten minutes, maybe, before they figure out what I've done. If we're not out of here and on the road before then- Wait, we're leaving? Desmond, I promise I'll answer all of your questions. Later. But right now, I need you to just shut up and do what I say. So please, get in the animus. What the fuck's going on with the stream? All right. I sincerely hope it's not about to cut off. Okay. It just wasn't playing on my end, for whatever reason. It just started, you know, doing the uh, loading thing. The buffering, as if it wasn't working. Subtitles also aren't on. Si, si, brava. It is a boy. Uh, 
Oh, my love. Mi dispiace. I, I was at the bank when they told me. Did I miss it? Am I too late? Give him here. Giovanni. Shh, my love. It will be all right. Tu sei un auditore. Sei un combattente. Perciò, combatti. <laughs> Listen to him. A fine set of lungs. And what shall we call him, my love? Ezio. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. <laughs> I really get to see him born. Alright. Get up. Let's go. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need a second. There isn't time, Desmond. We have to leave. Alright, achievement unlocked. Assassin's Creed 2, the birth of an assassin. Be reborn as Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Uh, really getting out of here, huh? Sturgo's got some fucked up interior decorators. Stay close. Hey! You're not supposed to be up here! Open this door! I'm calling it in! Oh, we have a my breach in the research. Workplace is calling me. Hold up. Okay, so I guess the curfew was like completely lifted because there was a curfew that started up real quick to, um, you know, because of the recent stuff that's been going on, which obviously I don't want to talk about it too much in the stream, um, but I might as well just talk about it now since I still got the game paused. But you know, like the whole Black Lives Matter movement, um, it started a bunch of uh, states like bringing in a curfew, but New York decided to just lift its curfew. Which the curfew, you know, also had it so way that there was a certain time you could be on the road in the morning. And, like, only people who could go to work were there in the morning, so they put up a curfew. And today, they ended up uh, opening up at 7. But tomorrow, everything's going to go back to normal, so that means I can go into work in the normal time. I just made sure to reset my alarm real quick. There's been a breach in the research Come on, we need to keep Requesting moving. Oh, shut up. Nancy. Why are these there they are! Don't let them get away! <laughs> 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 I just realized that guarded glasses. I didn't even think he had glasses before. Holy shit! Doesn't Desmond even bother to pick up a stick? He knows how to use it. Alright, but otherwise though, if it wasn't apparent to anyone... Yes, I'm obviously cameras? on the side of Black Lives Matter because all that shit is annoying. How do you think I managed and all the cops to really have got to reset the themselves. It's You're like good. basically fire them all, so I've been told. fire back the ones we know for a fact aren't racist and who would actually be willing to do shit. And then just, uh, you know, get in some actual good people as well. Careful. Kind of careful. I forget. We need to get to that elevator on the other side of the room. Follow my lead, but keep an eye out for security. I'd rather avoid a fight. Mm-hmm. Is that an animus? Of course it's an animus. Wait. Why are you asking? Stay with me. What the how many of them are there? Wait. Is it animuses or and am I? What do you think, Lucy? Lucy, what do they need with all of them? Desmond, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Please. Anyways, though. Fuck. I thought this card would work. It must be on a separate system, and I don't have the code. Wait.
How did you do that? I don't know. Let's go. Yeah, you just suddenly have eagle vision because you awoke that, you know, it's ancestral DNA something. in you. What was that in the animals? Subject 16? Ezio, Audi, Audi something? I think we've been wrong all along. That's why we need to get out of here. Vidic and the Templars, they're only part of the problem. What do you mean? I'll explain when we get there. Get where? <laughs> Whoops. Now, come on. I should have the ability to fucking counter. That's the always the ability to fucking counter with his fist. Go. I did not want to waste too much time. Get in. You're joking. It's for your own protection. Oh man. <laughs> We're almost there. Yeah, you say almost there, but then how long of a drive is it to get to the next place, eh? It can't be almost. And there's another achievement, Assassin's Creed 2. Arriva Dici, I think it said so. I don't know. I'll have to check it out before I end the stream, I'm thinking. Just to double check how many achievements there are. I know there's less achievements than... Well, it is the achievements of three games together, so I know there's less than... Um... Thanks the originals, because Great. they don't have multiplayer. Shoving the trunk, bouncing around. Love this it. way. But so, they do have all the DLC. Going on now? There was a reason for the escape, Desmond. Figures. We need your help. For what? Another treasure hunt through time? Abstergo's gonna replace their Apple of Eden. The map your ancestor found guarantees it. The other assassins, they'll do what they can, where they can, but... What? What is it? We're losing this war, Desmond. The Templars are too powerful. And every day, more of us die. I still don't see how I fit into things. We're going to train you. Turn you into one of us. What? No. No, you've seen me in action. I'm no good at this, and even if I was, it would take months. Years, even. No. Not with the Animus. Not with the bleeding effect. But I'm just one guy. Sometimes, that's all you need. So that's why you found him. My ancestor. What was his name? Ezio? If you can follow in his footsteps, you'll learn everything he did. Just like he did. Years of training, absorbed in a matter of days. You broke me out of Abstergo and brought me here just to make me an assassin? Look, there's more to it than that, but it'll have to wait. Trust <laughs> me, okay? All right, I'm in. Tell me what you need. Really? You're sure? I thought you'd be happy about this. Sorry, I'm just a little surprised. I spent the whole ride over here figuring out how I was going to convince you to do this. Save it. After what those Templar bastards put me through, I'm ready, willing, and able. <laughs> he just wasn't sure how he was going to do it. Because, <laughs> like, you know, it would take him years to retrain himself and everything, well, until you consider the Animus. Lucy! She got a nicer Animus. You made it! God, it's been so long. Seven years, can you believe it? Indeed. Welcome back. Ah, so this must be the infamous Subject 17. Desmond Miles, was it? Who are you? I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Sean Hastings. This is Rebecca Crane. Nice to meet you, Desmond. Right, well, it's been lovely chatting, but if you don't mind, Desmond, it's best we get straight to work. Time is precious. Doubly so these days. We've yeah. got everything set up and ready, Lucy. Just say the word and we'll get going. Here, I brought you something. A parting gift from Abstergo. Whoa! The Memory Core! This is amazing. With their data, things are gonna go a lot faster. I'll get to work on merging the code. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was gonna be randomly in control. Oh, wait. Right. Yeah, the door's open. I can just double check what's over here real quick, because I forget. I don't even think I've ever bothered looking over here. 
Mm, nothing, just a sealed door. Sealed door. Sealed door. This is boring. Okay. And another sealed door. Why are these doors sealed? What's all this stuff for? This stuff, Desmond. Oh, this stuff is nothing special, really, this stuff. It's just the stuff that keeps our entire operation from falling apart, really. It requires a great deal of concentration to keep it all moving, so you'll forgive me if I don't have time to play meet and greet. Sean's in charge of maintaining our knowledge archives. It's like a digital library. He'll be riding shotgun with me while you're in the Animus. So if you come across anything of note, people, places, events, etc., he'll create database entries you can consult for additional information. Yeah, it's not just databases, though. I also provide tactical support for the other assassins. You know, Desmond, the ones who are out there, actually doing stuff, risking their lives, little things like that. Oh, sure, Sean. He'll do it eventually. Hello, Desmond. Go away. <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna be saying that the whole time. They got couches, and they got... Nice twin bed, I'm gonna say. Maybe king size? Queen size? Something like that? I don't know bed measurements. Don't pay attention to me. <laughs> hey, listen. I just wanted to say thank you. And that I'm sorry. Sorry? Yeah, you know, before. Everything at Abstergo. It was just... I wasn't ready. It's okay. No. <laughs> Going through all that. Knowing that the Templars still exist, what they're planning. What's done is done, Desmond. You're here now, and that's what matters. Looks like she's been crying. Look at that mascara, it's all smeared. Lucy, I've been seeing things. Symbols in my bedroom, the code on the keypad. Just like Altair. It's from the bleeding effect. You're taking on more than your ancestors' memories. You're taking on their skills, too. In this case, hey, Eagle Vision. I see you two, don't start skills? fighting. You're more receptive now. So if all goes well, everything Ezio learns in the Animus, you'll learn too. You really think this will work? That I'll become an assassin? You already are an assassin. You'll just be better at it. Yeah, hopefully much better at it. I mean, seriously, I saw the tapes from Abstergo. You didn't even try and escape. What a dick. <laughs> Sorry, Desmond. I've got some stuff to take care of. We can talk more later. All right. Hey, Desmond. What's up? Just wondering what your role is in all this. I take care of Baby. It's my job to keep her up and running. Baby? <laughs> you mean the Animus? Actually, I prefer Animus 2.0, since Baby's twice as awesome as anything you'll find at Abstergo. The Templars might have deeper pockets than us, but they've got no ambition, no passion, no competitive edge. That's why, even with all their resources, anything they can do, I can do better. Faster, too. Anyway, take a seat when you're ready, and we can get started. I just need to make a few more adjustments. Okay, can you two stop fighting? I see- Stop! That's right, you go upstairs and cool down, Haley. No fighting with Nara. Sorry, can't talk now. Alright, I just wanted to make sure. Can't interact with this laptop, right? Oh, it'd be nice to just interact. There are a lot of noises. Okay. So, how does this work? Of course. Deep breath. Ah! Oh, what are you, a tiny child? Sean! Well... <laughs> Here we go. It'd be nice to have a fucking Animus. Action completed. Welcome to the Animus 2.0. Plus 10 U points. <laughs> and another achievement. Enter the Animus 2.0. No, no, it's the exact same thing, but anyways. Gotta jump straight ahead into Ezio's life. We barely didn't see any more of his childhood. At least with Connor, we got to see more of his childhood. I mean, with Arnold, we kind of got to see his childhood. Um, we have not gotten to see a lot of the Assassin's childhoods. Which actually kind of sucks, too, especially in Connor's case to see him grow up and everything, but his progression just didn't seem so fulfilling for a lot of people. Especially since they cut out this awesome speech that he makes. 
and they just put it into the fucking book. At least Noah Watts still had an audio recording, though, because that's awesome. Insieme per la vittoria! Insieme! Insieme! Silenzio, my friends! Silenzio! Grazie! Do you know what brings us here tonight? Honor. Viere de Pazzi slanders my family's name and forces his own miseries upon us. If we... Enough of your nonsense, Grullo! Buonasera, <laughs> Viera. We were just talking about you. I'm surprised to see you here. I thought the Pazzi hired others to do their dirty work. It's your family that cries for guards when there's trouble, Cotardo. Afraid to handle things yourself? Your sister seemed quite satisfied with the handling I gave her earlier. Uccidetelo! You just throwing rocks, though. Get more creative. Baby brother, I finally learned how to fight. Uh, and? <laughs> you have style. But endurance is what counts. Let's see how many of them you can ruin before they get the best of you. Hold on. What? We've almost won this. Your lip. Just a scratch. Let the doctor decide. It's not necessary. Besides, I've no money for this doctor of yours. <laughs> wasted it on women and wine, huh? I'd hardly call it wasted. Give me some floorings then. Or have you done the same? <laughs> <laughs> Search them. <laughs> There's bound to be something in their pockets. That should be enough. Let's get out of here before the guards arrive. Oh. <laughs> 
Hurry, Ezio. The sooner we're done with the doctor, the sooner we can sleep. Trovato, dottor. <ride> hmm, fratelli auditori, why am I not surprised? Eh. You made quite a mess of yourself, young man. It's nothing, really. You must help him. That pretty face is his only asset. Fuck the day. <ride> okay, if I recall, Ezio just said something along the lines of fuck you. Now get out of here. Grazie. This way. <laughs> Quite a night. Indeed. I only wish they were all as much fun. Oh, wait. They are. <laughs> <laughs> we should head home, Ezio. Father's sure to be wondering where we've gone. Yes. I'd rather avoid a lecture. Up for a little race, then? To <laughs> where? Uh, roof of that church. I should probably also prep uh, one thing, because I don't think they added in maps for the feathers in this game. I remember there never being maps to begin with. So, I might just have to pull up the original maps that I still have on my laptop at the very least, which is nice. So that way I can track them down. But, first we're going to race Federico. On the count of three. Uno, due, tre. <clears throat> The baby brother still has much to learn. <clears throat> Come on, Kantaruga. <laughs> I am just ahead of you, sir. Come on, then. This way. Where are you going? You'll see. There we go. It is a good life we lead, brother. <sighs> the best. May it never change. And may it never change us. <laughs> and to think, the auditories had four fucking children. They had Frederico, then they had Ezio, then they had Claudia, then they had... Fuck, why am I forgetting the tiny one's name? All right, enough of that. We really should head home. Let's go. Wait. What? Ezio, let Christina sleep. There will be time enough for that later. Ah. Uh. And then he just decides to stay here on the rooftop. We can, uh... Yeah, see? He can't even interact with him. He just decides to sit down. Kind of silly. Pardon? Uh, yeah, game. Okay. Whatever. It wouldn't show off the options. Better hide. 
Keep looking. He couldn't have gotten far. Why are you pushing Yuri Lowenthal? Social stealth option yet. Well, fortunately, it's right Christina. here. Christina! Who's there? Me! Oh, it's you. I should have known. May I come in? Fine, but only for a minute. A minute is all I need. Indeed. Well, wait, uh, that came out wrong. <laughs> Come here. Oh. <laughs> she looks a lot prettier in Brotherhood. Oh, but then again, you know, that's just because of, uh, you know, the kind of advanced technology a little bit more with Brotherhood. I pressed B. Why didn't you do it the first time? Oh, it's you. You can even just ignore pressing B. I've seen people do that, and she's still in her attire when they fall down. I don't remember that interaction, though. But okay. Then again, oh, it has Christina. been a long time since I played this. Christina! Well, yeah. Your tutor will be here soon. Come, my daughter. Is it really so terrible that... Figlio d'un cane! What is this? Perdonate, messere! Mi chiedo venia! I'll kill you! No, no. That's not necessary. Guards! Guards! Voglio la sua testa! Take him down! There's, There's no really no need for violence. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna fight the guards. Are you fucking kidding me? They have weapons! I don't have weapons! I'm just gonna run. You have me confused with someone else. No, they, no, they definitely She don't. needed some help with some things. I'm not gonna believe I'm you. mostly innocent. <laughs> Woo! I managed to get away. Okay. Whoa. No, 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 no. Don't just fall like that. That can actually hurt. Let's... Since we're literally right here. What would make a man perform? Ah, of course, a woman must be involved. I mean, kind of. Good morning, father. Come with me. Mm -hmm. Something wrong? Do you think me blind and deaf, son? I know all about your fight with Vieri di Pazzi last night. And then this little visit to Christina. Your behavior is unacceptable. It... It... <laughs> it reminds me of myself when I was your age. Mm -hmm. I assume these misadventures won't interfere with your work today. No, Padre. Avete la mia parola. <laughs> I, I would prepared hope so. some documents here for Lorenzo Di Medici to review. I need them delivered to him. With haste, Father. Return to me when it's done. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming that Ezio gets paid for this job, being a paper boy. <laughs> I also forget if... Yep, okay. Ezio's potsy enemies are still around. Hmm. Let's just try climbing up buildings. No possible way the Potsy are gonna find us up here. Plus, we can look for more viewpoints. And some of the very dangerous viewpoints we could attempt to get. Though that one I'm pretty sure we'll go to soon. So we're better off going for other ones that we can get to. Like that one. Nice. Treasure chest. Oh, 
Nice, 100 florins. Next week's public mass with the cardinal will have to be cancelled due to a small outbreak of plague. Pray for his recovery and the confinement of the dread death to the small, Woo! unimportant village he was in. Still have the fucking whole B to grab thing, it looks like. That or it could have just been crazy. I don't know. Alright, not that side. Uh, yeah, that side. Alright, so the Ezio trilogy in general is obviously my favorite in the Assassin's Creed series, but... Then again, as I previously stated, most likely... My experience in the Assassin's Creed series is only the first five games. Not counting spin-offs or anything, which obviously I'm gonna do the Liberation spin-off as well, because that's... Part of the, uh... Thing. That's part of the, get, get out of the fucking news. That's part of the, uh... It's part of the... What, what's the word I'm looking for? Crap. Alright, now I'm just gonna rob you all, because you deserve it. <laughs> Fucking... just blocking the doorway. The dead cannot defend themselves, huh? You wretched dog! He's not dead! Ah, Ezio. Ben trovato. How are you? Come sempre. I have a letter for Messer Lorenzo. I'll see that he receives it when he returns. Returns? They've gone to Villa Careggi, I'm afraid, and not expected back for at least another day. I'll let my father know. <laughs> All right, time to return to Giovanni. Again, I'm just gonna take the sky. I'd rather avoid a fight with the Pazzi. I mean, if I get into a fight, though, I can rob them. <laughs> I can rob them while they're unconscious. <clears throat> Crawling around, probably bleeding from the head and groaning about all their back pain, or whatever I did to them. Good work, Biscero. <laughs> you ah, hello, son. You remember my friend? Uber. Good morning, Gonfaloniere Alberti. To you as well, young man. I trust you delivered the message. See, si, Padre, but it seems Lorenzo is out of town. Hmm. I did not anticipate this. What does it matter? So you wait another day or two. Listen, your mother and sister have been looking for you. I'll need you again in a little while, but for now, see if you can't help them. Are you sure? Yes, now if you'll excuse us. Good to see you, Ezio. <laughs> Not gonna be too great to see each other later. <laughs> Alright, so that's, that's the mother. There's the sister. What I want to do... Is open this. For another 102 florins. There's the three objectives. Is one outside waiting for me? Buongiorno, Ezio. Buongiorno a voi, madre. Come state? Sto bene. And you? Still recovering from last night? I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Anyway, I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. Come. It's not far from here. Mm-hmm. Let's go meet up with our... Uh, our favorite boy -o. I know about your fight with Vieri. What fight? Can't lie about it. You have a fucking scar 
Let's not play this game. He spoke ill of us. I could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Francesco di Pazzi is many things, and none of them good. But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. What will happen to him? I imagine there will be a trial. Will father speak at it? He'll have to. He's the one with the evidence. Still, I wish there was another way. You've nothing to fear. Everyone wants justice done. It is an unfortunate state of affairs, but it will pass. <laughs> I wonder if I should use Ezio as an example. Uh, this is a random project I'm working on for my other channel. Here um, we are. Which I'll explain after this cutscene, and when they're not talking. Hello, Leonardo. Madonna Maria. This is my son, Ezio. Molto onorato. L'onore è mio. Let me go and fetch the paintings. I'll be right back. He's very talented. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. Mother. <laughs> Back to your house then. Si, si. Ezio, help Leonardo, will you? Uh, yep. So Ezio, what do you do? He's been working for his father. Ah, you're to be a banker. For now. And you, are, was it? Truth be told, it's been difficult for me to settle. Painting is nice, but I often feel like my work lacks, I don't know, a purpose. Does that make sense? I'd rather contribute more practically, more directly. Architecture, perhaps, or anatomy. I'm not content merely to capture the world. I want to change it. Oh, Leonardo, I have no doubt you'll go on to do great things. Vi ringrazio, Madonna. That's kind of you. Okay. Uh, are you guys following me, then? Oh, yeah, you are. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. But to try and explain real quick, this project I've been working on is... Uh, if you guys know the game Dragon Age Origins, I have streamed it before for something else entirely, but I never got around to that. But I've been, like... I went and recorded all six origins, and I was trying to make a mod to make a movie with all six of the origin characters at the same exact time. And that's still going to be a plan. It's just it's going to take me some time because I got to get the fucking thing working. Because it's a pain in a half to get um, the mods, you know, the tool set working properly for the PC. Because you need, like, this old script or whatever in order to get to work, or... And it just... It's been difficult for me. Thank you for your help, son. Don't let me keep you from your other duties. It was nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. Anch'io. <laughs> it's funny, because our paths do cross again. I'm hoping to at least get through all that stuff today. But anyways, though, to just real quick, um... Just finish up my thoughts on that. So anyways, I'm actually going to be, of course, trying to voice one of the characters, which is going to be the human noble origin. The character's name is Zach Kuzland. Kuzland obviously being the name you automatically get given, but he's literally just meant to be me, except that. But I want to make him, of course, be like a his own character. So like, he's a selfless, noble knight kind of guy, but he also has his personal vendetta against the guy who wronged him and killed his family, which is, of course, Renan Howe. So he'll, like, be trying to balance his duty towards the Great Wardens and his need for vengeance. And it kind of uh, screams Ezio in a way. So I might use Ezio's template as well for some certain interactions. Hey, Claudia. How are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. <sighs> it's Duccio. What of him? I think he's been unfaithful. Who told you this? The other girls. I thought they were my friends. Arpies. You're better off without them. I loved him. No, Claudia. 
You only thought you did. He should suffer for what he's done. Wait here. I'll go have a word with him. Alright, but seriously though, she is kind of two-faced. <laughs> you see how uh, easily she's like, he should suffer for what he's done. That was so quick. Anyways. Trust me, you have not seen crazy. I need your services just yet, sir. I might later, but not right now. Leave me alone, Potsy. I'm here for someone else. Duccio, it's beautiful. Nothing but the best for you, amore mio. But what of Claudia? I thought you'd been promised to her. The father said I could do much better than an auditore. Nah, you just don't like her because she's, Come, you know. Let us walk a bit. Walk? I had something <laughs> else in mind. Oh, do you? Mm. Mm. Hey, Glory mm -hmm. Porco! Ezio, my friend. Ah, nope. Ma che te piglia? You insult my sister. Parading around with this puttana. W what are you talking about? I saw the gift you gave her. Or the things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtu. You broke her heart. She doesn't need ah. to be a fucking... And now I'm going to break uh, your face. Okay, I don't want to use the word slut. But she doesn't you need to, you topic. know, fucking... But when it comes uh, time for action, ...sleep with you just ah. to prove her love. You'll regret ever opening your mouth. I could have taught your sister a great many things. She's lucky to have had some bastardo! Kick you in the balls! Basta! Mi Stay away from my sister! And the thing is, you could like keep beating him up right now if you what wanted to. No, no, no. You're not getting away. Get over here. Wrong person! Duccio, get your ass back here! Bro, don't beat up a random stranger. Okay, Rob Duccio and Rob these assholes. And then, we're gonna real quick use the viewpoint that was there at the place. That's gonna be a, an endeavor in itself. And then we'll go back to the auditory place, and of course we'll also take care of any other side objectives you run into. They are pretty easy to take care of. <laughs> Let's see if we can go around them. We don't want to start a fight. Oh, huh? where did they go? Where did I go? I ran- I, mean, I went in to another direction because I didn't want to deal with you guys. Can I get up the building from here? No? Seems quite well armed. Stop. Uh, okay, well they're about to start throwing rocks. Ow! Fuck you! Nope. This is what you get. Alright, remember this moment when you had your head shoved up your friend's ass. Because, <laughs> like, that's literally what it looks like. Okay, so maybe what I was supposed to do was climb along the side here and then jump onto the building. That makes perfect sense.
Come on, there's gotta be some kind of ledge I can grab onto. Because we don't have the one skill yet. We get it later, but we don't have it yet. Still not this one. Here, let's try this way. There we go. I'll just climb all the way to the top part and then. There we go. Man, this is like one of the tallest structures to climb in the Ezio Trilogy. I forget what the tallest one in Brotherhood is. There we go. Just have to slide around to the side of the building. Honestly, the fact that all these assassins have the uh, grip strength to do this kind of stuff on buildings, just incredible. We're going, we gotta climb in real quick, open this chest. See how far down you can go. Yep, there's a chest to go down too. So it's a good thing I decided to go down. There we go, now an extra 95 florins. I believe we just continue climbing from the inside of the building. I'm just gonna keep looking on each floor just to make sure I don't miss a uh, chest, you know? <laughs> okay, so I have zero medicine. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Holy crap. Another achievement unlocked. High dive. Perform a leap of faith on the top of Florence's Giotto Campanella. Something like that. Campanella. Forgive me if my Italian is bad. It's to be expected. Bring me your sick and wounded. Can I buy medicine? Hold up, I can set it for... Yeah, there we go. Just get a bunch of medicine prepared. And then I'll just ex heal myself while I'm here. With rest, and you should be well recovered, friend. Thank you. Now. Onward to battle! Get her, Trevor. Hey, Ezio. Hi there. What are you doing out here, Petruccio? You should be in bed. I want those feathers. What for? It's a secret. 
If I get them for you, will you go back inside? Yes, I promise. <laughs> Petruccio's secret. Oh, this is... A timed mission? I forgot about that. No, no. Climb up. There we go. There's a feather over there. And if I recall, there's a feather actually up on that particular ledge for the Eagle Vision. I'll have to look. Uh-oh. Do not interrupt my race. Here, as promised. Grazie, brother. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will, in time. Hmm. Yeah, this is all just to tell you, yeah, there's a thing going on. Alright, now we'll do all the missions that are around. Real quick. Get this to its destination fast. Really fast. I'll pay you well. Alright. There's a four minute time limit for this, too. And two locations that are on the complete opposite sides of each other. Fortunately, Ezio does not like to play by the rules. He likes to climb on rooftops. No, damn it. It's a very awkward place to have landed, Ezio. Is this you? No. Nope. It's you. Jesus Christ, the lady! Why do you have the bad guys guarding you? All right. Well. Better move fast. Oh, I just realized K-Pock is messaging. I haven't heard from him in a while. Last time I heard from him, he was, of course, talking about uh, possibly getting back to Gmod. And I haven't bothered to reinstall Gmod onto my computer. I should do that at some point. I don't know. I don't know. Just jump. You have a time limit. I have confidence that you'll get there within the time limit because the objective is right there. Somewhere on the ground. You need to get on the ground. Climb up. Oh, grazie. <laughs> I feel like that guy had uh, two lovers he was trying to take care of. Fast travel station. Okay, well, we are right next to a viewpoint, so we might as well get this out of the way real quick. <laughs> Madre de Dios! <laughs> Actually, there's that feather. 
I'm pulling it up now. I gotta do it. Otherwise, I'm not going to do it. And I want to make sure that I ha keep an accurate count of the feathers I grab. Alright, but... Actually, while I'm here, I gotta wait for the freaking GIMP program to load up. So that way, I can pull up the map and mark that feather off. So, real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and viewpoint. But then I'm going to climb back down so I can jump over to that window. Mm. Oh, he is messaging about the fact that apparently there's a Tokyo Ghoul bridge going on. And he's talking about who gets to play Kaneki. I'm guessing he's saying himself. So we'll have to see. Okay, over here. I don't want to automatically grab the feather just yet. I want to first get Gimp pulled up, so that way I can actually cross it off. I didn't bother doing it the first time I was actually trying to get all 100 feathers. <laughs> Alright, I'm just letting him know I'm actually streaming right now. Alright, gotta pull up. Okay, there we go. Gimp is now all ready. Now I just have to actually pull up the map. So that way I can automatically cross this one off. I'm not going to, like, automatically go for all the feathers immediately, because doing that just doesn't make any sense. This laptop is down. So he can't stream himself. Sucks. Actually, one of these two maps up here. Well, not that one. That one I automatically know. Let's look at what we got so far. Is there another map I'm missing? I shouldn't be missing any of the maps. <laughs> All right, let's. Cause there's like five maps, I think. Yeah, no, this particular map is not the one I'm looking for. Jerusalem maps, Acre, Damascus. Where's my Florence map? There's Venice, there's Tuscany. Do I just not have a map for Florence anymore? Because I know that this map right here is one of the other ones. Alright, I'll just pull up another one. Yeah, we need a map of all the feathers in Florence.
Hmm. Okay, so yeah, there was one on that building. Thought so. I don't think that's literally all of Florence. It's just the parts of Florence. Okay, I'll take this map. And then I guess maybe I'll follow the trails. Don't want to save it into anime. I want to save it into Assassin's Creed. There's Florence Feather map. Okay. Now I got a map pulled up, finally. Guess we're getting that one. So I need to cross number one off my list. Alright, there we go. Number two is actually over at that building, like I thought originally. So, we'll go back there real quick and get it. Alright. Can I climb up these parts at least? Oh, hello, good sir. Uh, don't mind me. I said don't mind me. Get back to your work. <laughs> you really have minded me. What the fuck did you guys get up here anyways? I don't see any ropes. Are you like me? Do you just like climbing up buildings? I was just going back to Twitch real quick. Can you not go over to the other side there? Okay, there we go. Now you can. Climb up. There's literally a way for you to climb up there, Ezio. Some chests. Don't mind if I do. Okay, I think it's up at the very top. Up on the cross, of course it is. Okay. Pretty sure that was marked as number two anyways, so... Yeah. Perfect. Alright. Can I get to it? Okay, I'll get to that one. That works too. Okay. 
Since I'm just, uh, I didn't mean to go to this, but that works. Here we go. I wanted to pull up the map. Okay, so three and four are actually over here nearby this viewpoint, so we'll go to that. And also unlock any other bonus missions we could have. Oh crap, Ezio. Why did you go the completely wrong way? Oh yeah, this place. It's been an interesting viewpoint to try to get. What the shit? What are you doing, Ezio? That's not what I asked you to do. Gotta climb up a building somehow. Yeah, go over here. Go this way. No, don't stop though. Especially since you've got people looking at you. Okay. I do think though I have to still be careful though because I'm pretty sure that there are guards here who's not gonna like seeing some random dude just climb up buildings. No guards up here right now. Okay, well, I know they're gonna happen later. No, fall down. Okay, I guess I can't go that way. I gotta go this way. Fine. Puta. <laughs> I kid, but anyways. I should be able to get up there. That's a bell. <sighs> Not sure what that checker it is. All right, let's just look at the map real quick. Oh, that's a codex page. Oh, the checkered is a race. Wait, codex page. Why is that there? All right, so three and four are in this general area. So we're just gonna climb down the normal way. There we go. Yes, I know. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah, I went the wrong way. It's over there. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just going for number four right now since I'm at the building with number four. Number three is just somewhere across from this building. There's the feather. Yeah, okay. And there's number three. There we go. I wanted to make sure I grabbed that. I am being a best star, though. There we 
go. Collect both those feathers. Gonna mark those off real quick. I'm just going to go straight for the Codex page, because it's there. Apparently. Oh no. Ezio, why you do this? I'm the idiot. I'm the one who jumped on you. Don't you dare start a fight with me. I've only got two bars of health right now. I'm a silly thing. I meant no harm. Ah, okay. So I can't get that codex page yet. I, that's not what I'm here for. Because I don't have the ability to get rid of those guards. Not without a fight. And I can't fight them because I don't have a weapon. Or the training, really, to fight them. Over here. I'm just going to get all the feathers now, just get those out of the way. And then, of course, there's races that I have to do, and some beat-em-ups. I just want to get all the bonus objectives out of the way now, before I continue with the main stuff. I think I can get them done in a reasonably fast pace. There's the feather. And number six is somewhere over here. I don't think I'll need to mark it down, because I can see it from over here. Good. I've actually gotten close to getting all 100 feathers. The thing is, I actually ended up missing one. Alright, let's just climb back up here real quick. Mark off number six, and we're gonna head to number seven, which is somewhere over here. Um, excuse me, Ezio. There we go. I don't understand why you didn't work the first time. Also, I'm probably not going to change the color of my assassin outfit unless I, uh, get that achievement again. Ow. That's not a good idea. Ah, oh, fuck. Nope, press the wrong button. Well, at least I have medicine. So, how would you like to go? Pro? Act? I'm just gonna counter you guys, because I'm, I'm not gonna deal with you. <laughs> Excuse me? Did you just show him assassinate the guy? He doesn't even have... He's dead! He's literally not moving! I did not assassinate this guy, what are you talking about? <laughs> that is so weird, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Trev! Trevor, my friend! Trev! Hold up. Trevor! The stupidest thing just happened. So I just went to a fight with a couple of guys down here. Uh, you see them? Oh, uh, probably? Where, where'd they go? There they are! See those guys over there? Do you see the guy specifically that's not moving? I assassinated him. I don't even have the hidden blade yet. <laughs> and I assassinated him. <laughs> He's just sitting there dead. 
<laughs> well, his friends are actually writhing in agony, and I just apparently I assassinated him. What the shit is going on? <laughs> All right. Anyways, sorry for interrupting you in the middle of your video. I just wanted to let you know that. <laughs> No, I didn't want to go on the ground. There's a feather around here. I hear you, you bastard. There we go. Oof, I just messed around with the mic, I'm sorry. Okay, so like over in the general direction of this viewpoint should be another feather. So we're gonna go straight for it. Just reveal all the map now. No, 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 don't fall. Don't fall. Do this because you're being stupid. <laughs> 